Like most of the paintings I make, I just get the idea from somewhere. Who knows from where? That's a discussion for another video. But here's a recent one that I did. This blue painting using uh, this technique that I've been doing with this paintbrush that I make. For this one, it was about a three foot wide paintbrush using wallpaper brushes. And like with a lot of my pieces, I wanted this to be meditative and subtle. So using one color gradient with the blues, the gradients I wanted, I want the viewer to be able to look at this for a while in a meditative state and kind of over time see a lot of different things, different textures. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's the, the light kind of dances along the ridges and the textures and the, the curves. And as you walk around it, when it's on the wall, the light kind of, I, I think of it as it, the light dances across the, the, the the surface. Another thing I did with this piece is I made it curved um, so that as you're standing in front of it, it kind of curves around you like those curved TVs. So the way I did that, I hand built it using my handy dandy woodworking skills. Um, I had about a, I think like a six inch wide piece of wood. I drew an angle and cut it along by hand. So if you can see this corner and the bottom corner are about four inches thick. And then the other two corners, this corner and that corner are about an inch and a half. And then I painted the canvas on a flat surface, taped the edges. I measured the dimensions. Um, so the edges are like very well straight line taped. And then as the paint was still wet, I pulled it over onto the, the stretcher bars onto the frame and I stretched it, stapled it and let it dry in position so that it would dry in this curved manner and the edges too. It's all dried in this shape. So it's stuck there forever. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out as far as like, you know, seeing it up close, and especially like looking at it from the side, I see this curve and it's kind of this 3D curve because these edges go out and then it kind of goes in on these edges. So it's this cool, almost makes me think of a, a surface in a, like on a calculator in, in school in my calculus class. Um, Maybe that's my engineering degree and love for calculus coming through, through my painting. As far as the dimensions of this, uh, whenever I'm considering something about my art and how to do it, I, me personally, what worked for me is really just listening to my intuition. So with this and for example, the angle that I was going to cut this at and the dimension that these smaller corners were going to be and these wider corners were going to be, I didn't do any fancy math or any figuring. I just kind of looked at it and I kind of just wrote with my pencil like, okay, that'll look good. Kind of listening to my intuition. And that's something I use in a lot of my art, a lot of my paintings, a lot of my color selection, composition, especially with abstract, you know, it's not like I'm looking at a tree and I'm going to make this painting look like that tree with abstract art. I don't have a frame of something that I'm trying to create. It's really, really intuition based. Um, so like even this, you'll see in the video where, where I'm actually making the strokes, I'm not really going for something. I'm kind of just like playing along with it until I kind of, I'll see a pattern that I like. And then once I like that, I keep doing that pattern until I love it. I love the outcome. And it's like, that's the one. And it's all intuition. It's all just like feeling, even the colors that I use, the, the textures, the composition, coming up with these ideas. Um, I used to get stuck a lot with needing the perfect composition or the perfect piece or the perfect you know, dimensions, but now 
like in the case of this piece, when I was coming up with the dimensions and the, the sizing for, this, for the curve, it took me seconds. I just had in my mind that I wanted to make it curved and I looked at it and I was like, you know what, that looks good. Boom, drew the line and cut it. Didn't have to think about it. So this intuitive approach to making my art has really helped me um, create more not get stuck by the perfectionism and I think make art that I like that is more unique to me because it's just an expression of of me as an artist to me as an individual what I like and my intuition so if anyone watching is an artist creator I invite you to try making something purely from intuition and what your intuitive guidance wants to create, your inner artist wants to create, your inner child wants to create, and let me know what you make. Thanks for watching. I will be making more YouTube videos, more videos in general, so if there's anything you want to see about my art and how it's made and my approach to creativity, let me know. Okay. That was good.